Hi everyone, it's Jerry. Let's have a look at another Leela Chess Zero game. Leela has white in this one, ID 395, and is up against Gull 3. Not quite sure of the GPU or CPU used in this game. I do believe it is a bullet time control game. So the game itself is a real eye-opener. As early as move 7, Leela finds a new move out of the Nimzo Indian defense. And the game itself is brief. It's only a 20 mover. So let's see how this one develops. First, a note or two about this Nimzo Indian defense. If there's one square that should stick out to you, it's E4. There's a fight over that point. Black points uh, directs some pieces there, tries to knock out pieces that defend E4. Black does not want to see white acquire a pawn trio so easily. From here, e3, castles, bishop, d3. b6, we know where the bishop is headed. And from here, far and away, most popular is to do something with the king knight. Go to e2 to connect knights, or go to a very efficient square, f3, in the key 16 squares in the center. None of the above. In this position, move 6, we have e4, a move that has been seen before. Bishop b7, and from here, what to do with e4? You can think about f3, you can think about queen c2. Um, each has a bit of a drawback, f3's weakening to the king side. Queen c2, one might argue, is that a little bit too early to deploy the queen? Well, Leela has a different idea. Can you spot what this move 7 is? Feel free to pause the video. Okay. You ready for this one? It's very beginner-like. Here we go. E5. <laughs> Just moving the pawn. And opening up the bishop's eyes to knock out not only g2, but also the rook in the corner. Now, what does white get in return? A pawn that can potentially turn into Pac-Man, knock out the f6 knight, g7 pawn. Um, this pawn just kind of... <laughs> He got the, the pawn got to e4, got to e5. It took three tempi to get there, and now there's some material that's going to be lost. So let's see what this compensation is exactly. Pawn takes knight. There's no rush with taking the rook. Best in this position is g6, the move played in the game. Let me point out a downside with capturing the rook immediately. What would follow is bishop takes h7. King takes, queen h5, pawn takes, and what's happening? Threatening the rook, threatening mate. Best in this position is considered f6, but white is the better side. So, one other point is if queen takes f6, this would allow white to play the move. If you'd like to, pause the video, see if you can find it yourself. You ready? Queen to g4. Not only hitting the bishop, but also threatening the queen. She's dead. Very important resource. So, in the game we have g6 combating that sacrifice on h7. This pawn lives. Bishop g5 defending? Only at this point is the rook captured. So, white is down a pawn, and the exchange, but has a very deep pawn. If there's one square the white queen wants to be teleported to, it's g7. That's mate. This is a step in that direction. Queen h4, queen h6, game over. There aren't very many ways to defend against this uh, <laughs> caveman-like idea, you know, just going straight in for the throat. What do you do to defend? Well, in the game it's d5. Not only striking at white's pawn duo, but vacating d7. It's imperative black apply pressure on f6, so that when the queen is on h6, there will only be one piece defending f6, and black will be able to knock it out before the queen can get to g7 for mate. Queen h4, knight, knight d7 in the game. I found a cool tactic 
in this position. I thought another way to maybe defend against this mate threat is with king to h8. This isn't, uh, this isn't necessarily a good way to defend. What you can do in reply to king h8 is queen h6, rook g8, and what would be a good move here? If you'd like to, go ahead and pause the video. See if you can find it. Okay, you ready? You still go into g7. <laughs> this is a neat little tactic. Rook takes queen, pawn takes rook, check, and you get the queen. White is the better side. White's up a piece now. So that's a neat little tactic I found with king h8, trying for rook g8. In the game, it's knight d7. And from here, f3. White is looking to castle by hand, and this bishop is not going to be rescued anytime soon. King f2, knight e2, scoop up the bishop. White isn't even going to be behind any material if you get that bishop. So from here, a bit of a mysterious move. Rook b8, I believe, is anticipating a capture. Bishop e4 with a punch. That is sidestepped. King f2 in the game. D takes c4. Bishop e4. And from here... We have c5. This is not allowing the bishop to return to f8. There may be some idea to defend g7 with a rook e8 move, and then bishop to e8. So while black is striking at the center, uh, this is not allowing the bishop to help defend. One move in this game, well, we're basically just uh, six moves out. One key move, let's just say, on this move 15. What move do you think Leela plays here after the move c5? Feel free once more to pause the video. Okay, here we go. Bishop takes g6. Clearance sacrifice. Threatening mate on h7. Not many ways to... Well, what do you do? If you capture like this, here's another neat tactic. f7 check, and there goes the queen. And you have to take with the h-pawn. Clearance sacrifice so that the knight can drop into e4 next. f6 is defended twice, which means queen h6 into g7 is nearby. How do you defend? The bishop's not around. This bishop's not around. The rook on b8, the rook on f8. There's no good defense to queen to h6 into g7. So from here we just have the typical... Computer-like moves, delaying mate for as long as possible. Bishop d2, you take the bishop. Bishop simply returns, and same idea. Queen c7, queen h6, and <laughs> now giving up the queen. Queen takes queen, knight e5, and this is as far as it goes. The game is uh, finished at this point. White wins. If it did continue... It's only reaching move move 22. The queen goes to h6. There's a knight g4 check. And pick your favorite move. It doesn't matter. Queen g7. The square she wanted to be at as soon as this pawn was on f6. Game over. Only a 20 mover. What is this? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> what are your thoughts about this one? Move 7. Novelty. Uh, is this something worth investigating further? I think it is. This e5 advance, this is just a taste. Anyhow, as usual, feel free to leave any feedback to this video in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe took a thing or two away. That's all for now. Take care.